Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be working on this painting that you can see here. Um, in the last video we worked on the trees, now we're going to be working on the grass in the foreground and we're going to make it look from this to this. So really we're just going from that block in stage and adding the details and I'm going to show you how I do that. Uh, the brushes that I use in this video are available on my website. Um, you can either click on the link in the description or you can click on the pop-up there. Also the panels are now available. This was painted on one of those panels. Um, check that out. Um, well, let's get going on the video, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Right, so I know we still have bluebells to put in, but before we work on that, I'm just going to add the darker shades to the rest of the painting or to the lower half of the painting. So now the, the shaded areas, oh, by the way, this is the Series 4 size 1 fan brush. I'm going to be doing downward brush marks. Very light, I'm not putting any great pressure on the panel. And just be a little bit lighter pressure wise on the lighter areas of the bluebells here. So I'm not pushing quite so hard and that's meaning that the uh, the paint that is going on is slightly thinner. It's a thinner coverage which means the lighter blocking is sort of showing through a bit more. So, I think what we need to do now is just add a few darker tones, just a few in this area here, and then we can continue working our way along. So we don't need to go too dark. Just put in a few of these areas, not too many. That'll do. Right. Um, let's have a think. Let's have a think. Right. So just going with the continue with the lighter colours. Let's give that a little bit of a sloosh, a bit of a clean, and then back in with these this bright yellow here. Now, one thing you can do if you start if that starts to dry a little bit which mine is, you just add a small amount of thinner, not too much, and then one thing you can do is pick it up with a palette knife, give it a good mix through, and then you can actually use your palette knife as a palette. So what I do is I hold the palette knife in front of the painting, keeping it nice and close, and then that makes the whole process considerably quicker rather than having to reach across every time to your palette and it works well if you're constantly using the same color and you're not having to mix a new color within there so if you were needing to mix regularly this probably wouldn't work out as being a great deal quicker Thank you. 
So you'll often have heard me um, describing the consistency of paint when I'm trying to do this sort of thing um, as uh, a buttery consistency, but I suppose there are different consistencies of butter. I would have thought it's possibly even more like a yogurt. Um, if, let's put it this way. Okay, imagine that the paint as it comes out the tube is a, a 10 and water would be a 1. We are looking for, I would say, about 7 or an 8. So you're adding the thinner just to give that paint a bit more movement. It still has a slight amount of thickness in that you can pick a globule up on the, the end of the brush. Um, but it has flow. That's the important thing. It has more flow than you would have if it was neat paint straight from the tube. So you're looking for that that area between uh, maintaining a certain level of density but also having that flow so that it leaves your brush and maintains that sharp edge. Right, so we have still got other colours to add um, within those greens there. So there's, as we said before, there's lots of browns. But I think before we start on that, I'm going to put some of the bluebells in. And I think what we're going to use to do that, certainly for the closer ones, is the Series 9 size 1 8. So that's going to give us a nice shape to the bluebells. Okay, so let's start off first of all, I think in the shaded areas. Let's go ahead and use the palette knife again just to pick pick that up. That'll make things a lot quicker. Now getting a nice good amount on the end of the brush. Trying to keep that point. Now, because we're not doing so much of a brush stroke with this, it's more of just a dab, uh, the paint consistency can be a little bit thicker. The thicker that paint consistency, the better the coverage is going to be, the better the covering power is going to be. Uh, the paint will stand out ever so slightly also from the, the, the surface of the panel, so you'll have a slight impasto effect, but that's fine because that just helps get that strength of colour. So just touching the surface of the panel with this brush being very gentle. Putting in the individual little bluebells. Okay, so I'm going to now move over to the lighter areas. Now there's still some darker parts to those. And I'm going to go in with this lighter colour to begin with. Then what we'll do is we'll add the darker tones afterwards. 
So as we did before with the darker, darker bluebells, we're now adding this lighter pink colour to the ones that are in the sun. lighter bluebells do actually go over the top of some of that darker um, shadow on the left hand side there Right, now I'm going to take off the thinner and we're going to go in now, staying with the purple, but we're going to go much lighter, so more like that, almost almost a white. You need to pick a bit more up on the brush. And then for the areas... We're a bit further back. This brush is absolutely fine. 